guys, we're back with another video. Uh, obviously, today we're talking about Josh Taylor, Jack Carroll, and the really disgrace that it was. I think we all know what who should have won that, that fight on last Saturday. I'm filming this a week later, and I've had time to digest and watch the fight, and I wholeheartedly believe believe Jack Carroll won the fight upon watching the fight back. I don't, well, I know it was emotions that drove my immediate thought video after, and uh, I know I shouldn't have done it when I did, because you all know how biased I am, especially to my own fighters. Uh, but we all know, we all know Jack Carroll won that fight. And for Jack Carroll to get robbed like that is just unbelievable. It shows how corrupt boxing is. And Jack Carroll said in an IFL interview on Tuesday or Wednesday that, uh, that all Robert Smith said was it was a close fight. Was it how a close fight? I knew after watching the fight back even watching the fight live wholeheartedly like Jack Carroll won. I just didn't want to, I just didn't want to say it at the time because I didn't even want to, uh, I didn't even want to ruin my Scottish, Scottish patriotism. And uh, upon that, an investigation has been launched. Uh, when really nothing will happen, all it will be is a case of three people, three biased people in a room discussing. They've already said the fight won't get overturned, so what's the really point of doing that? The British boxing border control need to get an absolute, absolute grip or I swear to God I won't be watching boxing again. Because it's decisions like that where you watch 36 minutes of a fight when a guy is blatantly won and the judges give it to the wrong guy. It's just actually funny and disgusting and wrong when a guy's put all his money, all his money, risk, risk time with his family to train for arguably the biggest fight of his life. And Jack Carroll just got robbed because everybody know, everybody knew, sorry, he won on the night. Even I did it, I just didn't want to admit it. But now I'm admitting it, Jack Carroll deserves the win. And even if, uh, even if the rematch happens with Josh Taylor, the stakes won't be as big because Josh Taylor is moving up to 140 after this fight. But after, now he's moving up to 140. So even if he were to do the rematch, it wouldn't be for the belts. And Jack Carroll only really wants the belts. That's the whole reason he took step aside money. So Josh Taylor could fight Jose Ramirez. Because Josh Taylor knew he wasn't just get Not Jack Carroll knew, sorry. He wasn't just getting a shot at the WBO, he was getting a shot at the unified belts, and for the guy to get robbed like that, it's just totally unbelievable, it's just wrong, and I think the British bots and border control need to get an absolute drift, I think all the bots and fans need to get together and just explain that this is wrong, and we will not watch bots and if this keeps happening, because it's happened too much now, it's making me sick of watching boxing, and that is a shame to say, because as I've said, I've been watching boxing for like 15 years, and I have never, never in my life seen a decision as distasteful as that. So, uh, Robert Smith, if you're watching this, Get a bloom and drip yourself, pal. Bye, guys. Bye. Like and subscribe.